Hi everybody, thank you for joining me for today's video. My name is David, this channel is Demars Coaching, and this is another narcissist video. A video about narcissists. And it's an important one. It's something they do that is extremely damaging, something we've all suffered from before. Humiliation. An awful, awful thing to do to somebody. It's one of the worst things you could do to your child. It's so damaging. Emotional and psychological abuse. Damaging psychologically means damage to the self. Deep. Lasting. It can lead to major depression, suicidal uh, states, and in, uh, severe anxiety, and PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder, from humiliation. It's bullying, it's intimidation, it's dehumanizing. Here's some other words I came up with that are associated with humiliation, confusion, degradation, disgrace, indignity, shame, mortify, put down, criticize, belittling, dishonor, betray, downgrade. Humiliation is a reaction to our own childhood shame. Very important to know. Not everyone reacts the same to humiliation. Some of us have lots of humility. People that are bullied is a reaction to their childhood shame. People that are bullied are targets. There's targets for a reason. I know for a fact everybody that's been bullied in school has been neglected or abused at home, period. Because that act in itself has not been taken care of by the parents or you couldn't tell them why neglect humiliation might make us feel like we are losing our grip on our image we are trying so hard to uphold the narcissist the facade that becomes their identity as they reject their true self that's personal humiliation and then there's public humiliation. The personal humiliation, like I said, worst thing you could do to a child, talking about that child in front of them and things that are wrong with them, problems they have. Oh yeah, little Johnny isn't as good as the other kids, isn't as fast, isn't as smart. Yep, got bad grades, he's a bad kid. Personal humiliation, you watch this video because you've all been emotionally abused so you understand what it's like to be humiliated by your partner at home. But what about when they do it publicly? We can look at an example of this. I'm not trying to make lots of conclusions here or judgments, but I think it's pretty obvious what we see anytime we watch Jada Pinkett Smith talk. Jada and Will, Will and Jada Smith, what an atrocious couple that is. If you've ever experienced narcissistic abuse, you know that Jada is so narcissistic and you know that she exploits and abuses Will and you know Will's a victim. Will being a victim, that's why he did that thing on stage when he attacked Chris Rock. He did it for Jada, Jada. They have been living, well, yeah, I shouldn't say that. Let's just say fairly recently, Jada has come out publicly, gave an interview. In this interview, she disclosed that they have been separated since 2016. For one, for you guys to keep it a secret for seven years together, why would you come out publicly now to reveal this secret? I think it's to humiliate Will Smith, for one. And I also think it's a lie. I think 20, they may have been separated, but I think 2016 is a lie. So that it excuses her cheating. You see, she cheated on her husband with her child's friend. She also went on to say how Tupac Shakur will always be her soulmate. 
That is completely unnecessary. And that is totally humiliating Will Smith. They're still married. Every couple. You, you don't believe anybody in Hollywood. That's safe bet. It's a business. They're the product. They all lie about who they are. And they've been lying for seven years about staying together. Why come out now? Huh. Attention. Humiliate. Will Smith, excuse her cheating. I loved in the interview, just off, off the subject, just how much she said, I just want to help. I just want to help people. I just want to help. Help yourself, woman. Help yourself and your marriage and your family. Yeah, before you start helping everybody else. She said that's, that's why she cheated. She was just trying to help. Be so careful. I say that all the time. Be so careful of those people that say that. I just want to help. I'm just trying to help. Will, the victim, says, blames himself for all of it. The marriage, the cheating, everything. He says, I guess it's just due to me and my own emotional blindness. Jesus. Jesus. You can only be blind to your own emotions to put up with that for so long. Right? We all know that. Why? Why do people humiliate, bully, ridicule? Shame people. It's their own insecurities, right? The bully has their own insecurities and they project it onto somebody else. We know this. We will not accept or assume responsibility or fault from when people hurt us. We will not internalize that. Bullying, gossip, smear campaigns and rumors is also how we publicly humiliate each other. Next time you sit and wonder what nasty, sick, disgusting rumors someone is talking about when they talk about another person in public, and you wonder if it's true or not, besides doing something like that is disgusting, realize that they are humiliating a target. And if that's not okay, it's not okay. It's not okay sometimes, right? But if they deserve it, well, if you don't know, don't just listen to someone and believe them. We heal and we talk and anybody who's experienced this, we need positive support badly. We need somebody else telling us the truth. We need to tell ourselves, but when somebody does this, this badly, we need somebody else to kind of counter it a little bit. It helps. Positive support, our friends, our family, our loved ones, and professional help that we hire. We need to heal from this. It is extremely damaging. For those of you who have CPTSD, this is a large part of it. We need to find ourselves and, and grow and know who we are on our own. We don't need help from other people, especially toxic people. Don't ever let anybody tell you who you are. Accept all your faults. Yeah, accept them and let the beautiful you come out, okay? By being around beautiful people, not someone who does any of this. Those of you who have suffered this in childhood and it is very important to identify this and stop lying and excusing. For those of you who have experienced this in childhood, it's good to know this and identify this and heal from this. Most of our adult pain comes from childhood. Or it won't hurt us. It doesn't need to. I would love to hear your guys' examples of humiliation. Of how toxic people humiliate others. I could come up with lots of examples. I didn't. I usually do. But I'd love to hear some of yours. Some of the examples I've heard over the many years are just atrocious. You will see this in public. You will see the public smear campaigns. You will see a married couple belittle the other. One belittle the other in front of a waitress, in front of a, you know, someone in public. Awful. Awful. Um, yeah, so if you can, tell me your examples, you guys. Let me know what you think of this video and always ask me questions. But most of all, always love yourself first, okay? Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.